to an all-new reaction and review. Tonight, guys, I'm taking a look at a movie from 2009. That's really all I know. The movie is called Paper Man. Now, here's sort of the weird thing. I don't know a single thing about this movie. I have not... I could not be asked to watch a single trailer, to read this, to read to read anything on the IMDb, Wikipedia. I, I don't even know if the damn thing's even got a fucking Wikipedia page. Um, apparently, at some point, I put it on the wish list. I have no idea when in the hell I did that. And somebody sent it in. So, now I get to figure out what in the hell Paper Man is. And um, I am hoping that it is at least entertaining. I don't know if it's... I really don't know what the hell it is. I don't know if it's going to be a comedy, a drama, an action film. Hell, guys, Paper Man here could be some kind of, like, Lynchian... Lynchian mind fuck thing. I don't know. But the only way for me to find out is if I shut the fuck up and I push play, and I'm going to do that right now. So, without further ado, it's time to kick back, relax, and check out Paper Man. I'm really curious how the hell this movie is able to do this. We have an author arguing with his imaginary superhero friend, and they're making it uninteresting. They are trying to make it funny, but they're failing miserably so far, and the movie's just started. Jesus fuck, I was sort of hoping that this would be good, but so far, no. So let me see if I understand this. The book he's having such a hard time writing has to do with the last surviving Heath Hen. All of a sudden, I no longer wonder why he has writer's block. That has to be one of the dumbest premises a person could ever cook up for a fucking book. So, yeah... In fact, actually, that, that, that very premise sounds almost as boring as this movie. That's kind of saying a lot, guys. Okay, so he's able to tell the story of this stupid bird to a bunch of people in a bar. Why then doesn't he just record himself talking about the shit and then try to transcribe it, maybe add on to it, and then his fucking book would be done. How hard would that be? Of course, though, I'm trying to inject logic, and the people who wrote this can't even fucking make a story interesting, much less probably make it logical. So, I think maybe I'm asking a little bit too much here. You know, guys, I believe I've come to a to a realization. I know why this movie is so mind-numbingly dull. It's because this is some of the flattest, most lifeless dialogue I've ever heard in any fucking movie. There's no way that any actor would be able to salvage any of this and make it fucking likable, and I've got damn near another hour worth of this shit to sit through. Oh my god. Well, that and the story sucks. And, well, there's a lot of other problems. I'll get to them when the fucking movie's done. Thank you. I, I was waiting for somebody to just pop, to just pop Jeff Daniels right in the fucking face. I never thought I'd say that, because normally his movies are good. But no, his character was so fucking irritating, I was happy to see him punched in the fucking face. I honestly kind of wish that he'd get popped again. You know, I totally understand that this scene is supposed to be touching and kind of sad, and perhaps it would if the writing wasn't so fucking bad. I swear to God... The writers are trying so hard to make you care about these characters, 
but they're missing one real important thing for these characters. That's a fucking personality. But I will talk more about that when the goddamn movie's done. I just wanted to share that right now. Well, guys, that was Paper Man. And, uh, no, no, shut the fuck up. I'm sick and tired of your bullshit indie fucking rock soundtrack. If you're gonna have an indie rock soundtrack, pick bands that are fucking good. Anyway. Why don't I touch on the soundtrack since I just had that little meltdown there? Um... This is one of those indie films where the, where the entire soundtrack is all this fucking, like, indie fucking rock bullshit. And normally the bands who show up in these kinds of movies suck. Well, this is no goddamn exception. This soundtrack is absolute garbage. And it's really one of only two major negatives I have with it. Uh, the other one I'm going to save for the end because I'm going to be there a while. Uh, even though I'm probably going to mention it a few other times. Yeah, I'm going to go backwards from my normal, uh, from my normal rundown of stuff. Let's start with the camera work. The camera work is really good. They actually have a couple of really interesting, they, they, they have a couple of really interesting, like, focus, like, uh, focus tricks in here, which look, which look really good. Uh, camera work and blocking and all that, it was done very, very well. Uh, so yeah, camera work here is solid. Lighting, lighting here is fantastic, and the sound mix is good. The soundtrack sucks, but I'm not gonna dwell on that any fucking further. Um, special effects, there really are only two, uh, special effects in the film. At one point, Ryan, Ryan, uh, Ryan Reynolds' character's, uh, suit, because he, because he plays as Jeff Daniels' superhero imaginary friend, uh, the uh, all of the blue on his suit you can see on the cover all of that blue. At one point, it it just begins to glow, and it looks really cool. I mean, I totally understand it was a really cheap fucking effect, but it looked good. Okay, it looked genuinely good. And at another point, uh, again, our fucking superhero character has to fly, and it's just him taking off, and it looks. It looks serviceable, all right. That now that there, guys, is it for fucking effects, and I don't and I don't normally cover them when they are when they are that few. But I am grasping for positives here before I dive face first into this film's biggest sin: the acting. I'm going to have to get to that big issue in just a sec, but the acting. Guys, we had a cast here made up of Jeff Daniels, Emma Stone, and Ryan Reynolds, amongst others, and they turned in a god-awful showing. Uh, the big the big reason, uh, and by the way, that right there is about all I can say, is that the actors turned in a terrible showing. Now let's cover the big issue with this goddamned movie, the fucking writing. Allow me to give you guys a rundown of this film's premise. Oh, and by the way, yeah, the acting sucks because the script is so bad, and you'll find out why right the fuck now. Here is the film's premise. We have Jeff Daniels as a failing novelist who's working on his who's working on his brand new brand new book. And the whole time as he's trying to write the first goddamn sentence, he spends the whole film just suffering of horrible, horrible writer's, you know, block. He's stuck on the very first sentence. Specifically, what the hell he's going to name the fucking character. He's hassled by his superhero imaginary friend he's had since he was in second grade. Um, that all by itself would have been a fantastic premise, all right? It would have been funny as hell if it were in the hands of decent, you know, writers. They also then work in Jeff, Jeff Daniels having some, having some kind of a father, you know, daughter-ish relationship with Emma Stone. And again, that also works. You know, go ahead and like go ahead and like factor in that. We have Daniels and Lisa fucking Kudrow. By the way, Lisa, you know, Kudrow for the record has never been a good actress. That's why I didn't mention her er that's why I didn't mention her earlier. I all because I knew going in she was going to suck. I'm just gonna leave it at that. Um well, Kudrow and Daniels are married and their marriage is just fucking like falling apart and you know all of that, all of that would have worked, you know, and, 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 and in fact, the way that the story's laid out, it would have worked. But then we get to the big issue, the dialogue. 
I am convinced that the two people who wrote this fucking thing have never listened to a human conversation in their entire fucking lives. Do you want to know how I've come to this conclusion? Because after listening to the because after listening to the dialogue here, I'm certain that the only way anybody could think that this is how people talk and that this is how actual human conversations happen, the only way anybody could come up with this and think and think that any of this sounds even fucking remotely human would be if they've ne if they had never communicated with a human being in their entire lives and had spent their fucking lifetime in a goddamn cave. But hey. Again, that right there, guys, is the biggest sin here. That is why Ryan Reynolds, Emma Stone, and Jeff Daniels could not turn in a good showing. Because they were given dialogue that was so hollow, so shallow, so absolutely fake-sounding, that there was no goddamn way in hell that they were ever going to be able to do anything with it. Because, guys, it is nigh-on impossible to ask actors to work fucking miracles. Mind you, all three of the actors I have just listed have been in movies with horrible, horrible dialogue, and they were still able to at least make it kind of work. The dialogue here is so goddamned bad that none of them could get a single bit of it to fucking work, okay? We have here a fantastic cast. We have fantastic camera work and sound and, you know, or rather sound mix, lighting, everything else, all of it brought the fuck down by the worst dialogue I have ever heard in any goddamned movie. The dialogue in this film makes the broken, borderline, incomprehensible bullshit from the fucking room seem human and realistic. Process that for just a fucking second there. Let that sink in. This makes the room's dialogue look good. No movie should ever be able to accomplish something that absolutely, abysmally disgusting. And yet, this thing did. And that is kind of sad. Now, do I, is there anything else I can really talk about in terms of the writing? Oh yes, um, I'm not going to spoil much. But there is but there is a small twist. I can tell that the writers wanted this to be some kind of a big twist. You're going to find out about an hour and 20 minutes in, roughly, about this twist, give or take. Uh, but guess what? If you, if you honestly do not see this big, big reveal coming, you're fucking stupid. I totally understand. I, I say that occasionally. But no, if you do not see that... One, that one supposed twist coming within three minutes of meeting the fucking character, you are stupid. And I demand that you announce that you are stupid just so that way we know not to trust you with sharp instruments. Again... That's how bad the writing here is. Um, is that they were trying to build up this big, big thing. And again, I do not, I do not want to spoil it because people always bitch at me whenever I spoil things. Uh, you know, but they were trying to build it up, and they failed because the dialogue just because the dialogue from that character is all is just is just all but screaming exactly what this twist is. Uh, within again the first couple minutes of meeting him it doesn't work and these and the people who wrote this should be horrifically ashamed for writing something this bad for taking a premise that that sounded this interesting and absolutely shitting on it with your horrible dialogue which leads to unlikable characters again guys i want you to go back and watch the 200 plus videos i have covered think about every one of the bad movies i've done where i said the characters were un fucking likable. Every single, every single example of that are all of those pale in comparison to how unlikable the fucking characters in this piece of shit are. This is by far one of the stupidest, wor most worthless movies I've ever fucking seen. This thing is by far the worst written thing I have ever watched, ever. I'm talking even beyond reaction and review. This is the this this movie has the worst writing I've ever fucking seen. This was horrible. 
Oh my god, so at the end of the day, am I able to recommend Paper Man? No! Fuck no! Perhaps maybe if somebody were to try to re try to remake this, maybe try to get some writers who actually know what the fuck they're doing, perhaps maybe then we might have something good here. Yes, guys. Yes, me. The guy who thinks that there is no that there is no possible reason to remake a movie wants to see this thing remade but written by writers who actually know how to fucking write dialogue. That is how bad this is. Is I want to see a remake. <laughs> and I want to see it done competently. Uh, in fact, hell, I'd even say bring fucking back, you know, the cast. Just please, for the love of fuck, get, get different writers. Oh my god. So, guys, um... <laughs> Paper Man, again, mysteriously came off of the Amazon wish list. The person who sent it in is, uh, Michael. And normally, guys, I, I would give you the I'd give you the YouTube channel uh, channel name. However, when I went and I looked at Michael's YouTube channel and I was looking at the link, instead of it being youtube.com slash user slash their name, it was youtube.com slash channel slash and then a straight line of gibberish. Um, so I really so I really can only call call him Michael because that's the best I have to work with. So, Michael, uh, thank you, dude, because, uh, again, I don't know when the hell I put this thing on the, on the fucking wish list, but I honestly think that my last, what, about ten fucking minutes of ranting, of fucking, you know, ranting and raving were probably totally worth it for, for you guys. So, yeah, um, and I am going to put a link to Michael's YouTube uh, channel. He actually has uh, a single video up right now, and it's about various deaths in Skyrim, and if I still had my copy of Skyrim, I'd probably try, you know, some of those, because, uh, well, what the hell, you know, it, it is always fun to fuck around in Skyrim, in fact, I may have to go out and re-buy it, just because all of a sudden I kind of want to play it again. <laughs> so yeah, guys, um, again, Michael, thank you, and if you guys want, you can go ahead and you, and you can check out his, uh, you know, YouTube channel, I am going to provide a link in the, in this video, in this video's description. Oh my god, I need to wash the taste of this god-awful thing out of my fucking mouth. I need to do something. Uh, let me see what is on my Blu-ray shelf I can watch. Redline. I'm gonna go re-watch fucking Redline. Why? Because my copy of Iron Sky is not in yet. That's fucking why. I'm gonna go re-watch Redline, and I'm going to remember what a fucking awesome movie is. So yeah, guys, um, with that we come to the close of another reaction and review. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, take care, and I will see you all in the near future. Peace.